Okay, okay, so I'm hiking up this hill to go flying for the third time today. It'll be my 22nd flight. And uh, I'm having these ahas as I walk up. And I thought I'd do a video to distract me and show you guys the view. You can't really see how beautiful that is right there. But this is uh, where I live in Willow County. And I've been learning how to paraglide, so this is my wing. And uh, I have an instructor, he's back there. I gotta start ahead of him so he doesn't catch up with me. But I've been thinking a lot about the end of this nine year cycle, right? And you guys know I'm doing Sacred Circle Day on December 28th. Encore on December 30th, so you can definitely make it. And it's all about spending the first two sessions looking back on the last nine years. These have been big years, you guys. Think back to your life in 2008 and just notice what was starting then, what was finishing. Um, a lot of us moved. That's when I bought property here in Willow County. That's when I fell off the horse and was in a broken place in lots of ways. And then now, nine years later, I'm flying. I'm going to fly off this hill. Sorry for the heavy breathing. So, as I'm pondering some of the lessons I've been learning. Um, the thing that just came to me was the question of scarcity. Whether you're holding on to something, whether it's a job or a relationship or a role, you know, some of you have played your roles very, very well, and it may be time to play a different role. Or maybe you're a recent empty nester, something like that. So when we hold on to something, when we feel like it should be this way, or we resist change, we are ultimately acting from a place of scarcity, thinking, I'm not going to get another person like this. I'm not going to get another job. I'm not going to get the security. I'm not going to get the love. Better to settle for what I have than risk not having any of it. So just ask yourself, so I've been wrestling, trust me, with a lot of these same things. Ask yourself, am I coming from a place of scarcity or am I coming from a place of abundance? And even the scientific minded of you can look up online, just Google, you know, how big is the universe or the galaxy? And look at the images. Like a pinprick on the screen is our entire galaxy. Surrounded by a solid band of light that are all other pinpricks that are galaxies. Like we live in such an abundant universe. So there's no scarcity. So if something is wanting to fall away or something's wanting to um, transform in your life and you're scared about it, I want to tell you right now that you can let all that go and just tell yourself, I release any ideas of scarcity and I acknowledge the fact that I live in an infinitely abundant universe. 
And then look at that situation. And if you know that there's an abundance of whatever it is you're afraid to lose, the love, the job, the money, the security, then it's not so scary anymore. And probably the reason you're being given a chance to let go is because it's in your best interest. <laughs> it wouldn't be coming up. And whatever you hold on to moving into 2017 is going to be part of your next nine year cycle. So, again, we live in an abundant universe. There's nothing but time. You don't have to learn that lesson in this lifetime. That always makes me say, I don't want to learn it again. So that's what I'm leaving you with. As I hike up this hill, paragliding, flying, just the last couple months for the 22nd time, never anticipating, always wanting to fly, but never anticipating that I would actually be doing it. That's how abundant of a universe we live in. You have access to infinite possibilities. So join me for Sacred Circle Day and bring all your friends because we are gonna walk into 2017 with all rockets firing. It's gonna be a huge celebration. Thank you for watching this. Put it on your list. You gotta come visit me in Wallowa County, right? Okay.